Hello everyone, Emmanuel here. Last weekend I was looking the Substance Matter Shot account on Instagram and found a material preset that I thought could be a great fast tutorial. So today we're going to learn how to create this pattern with a pretty simple setup. Let's go to Designer. We'll begin by making the lines. Add a shape node and make it an horizontal rectangle. Now let's blur it. No need to go with a high quality blur this time, a simple blur will be enough. Reduce a little the intensity. And now let's add a tile generator. And set the pattern to image input. We only need one column, so we set the X to 1 and increase a little more the Y to tighten the shapes. Now, since the shape is a square in a perspective view, we need to remove some of the top and bottom rows. An easy way to do it is to multiply it by a square. So let's create a blend node and a shape node. In the shape node, let's reduce the size a little bit. And now connect the shape as background. The pattern as foreground and set the blend mode to multiply. Now we need to rotate it and squish it to force the perspective. It's easier to do this in two steps. That way we can have more control of what is happening. So first, I rotate it with a safe transform 45 degrees. I use the safe transform because it will automatically resize it to fit in the map. Also be sure to set the tiling mode to absolute no tiling. Now we need to position it and squish it. For this, we can use a simple transform node. Set it to absolute node tiling as well. And now to position it, a quick trick is to use an hexagon. So let's create a polygon 1 node and a blend node. Connect the polygon as background and the transform as foreground and lower the opacity. In the polygon, increase a little bit the explode parameter. That way, it will be a lot easier to see the planes and find the center. And now we just need to position it with the transform node. Let's reuse both the polygon and the blend to create the main shape. First, we remove the explode from the polygon and in the blend, send the opposite to one and the blend mode to subtract. With that, we create the base pattern. If we go back to the reference, we want the lines to form a cube illusion in the middle of the tiles. An easy way to achieve that is with a splatter circular node. Set the pattern to image input and connect it. And now we need three hexagons. Let's scale them a little. and reduce the radius. Rotate the pattern by 180 degrees. And it's working. To facilitate the tiling, let's rotate the whole splattering. Since we're working with hexagons, we need to rotate it by 30 degrees, or 180 divided by 6. If you're wondering why 180 divided by 6, Think of it as the same logic as when we rotate a square 45 degrees. It's an easy formula to switch between having a face or a vertex pointing to one side of a texture. Now, all that remains is to add a tile sampler. And set the splatter as the pattern input. Since this is already a big shape, let's reduce the amount, so let's say 4x4. Four four. Add a vertical offset of 0.5. And now let's scale them and adjust the width. As you can see, it is working. Now as a bonus, let's add a little twist to the shape. Let's duplicate this blend node. And change the blending mode to subtract. 
Now let's use a high stroke node to get a three-dimensional cube. And we need to change the perspective to make it more like an hexagon. We can use the same trick as before, so we create a polygon node, a blend node, and lower the opacity. We adjust it. Finally, set it up as the input of the splatter circular. And now we have another interesting variation of the pattern. Well, that's all for now. Hope this fast tutorial helped you see how to break patterns into simple shapes, and also the potential of the high screw node, which is pretty amazing. See you next time.